Hi, my name is Daniel Chang, SC Manager for the Americas at Stella Cyber. What I'm going to talk to you about today is why many of our enterprise customers have moved away from the traditional SIM platform and begin to onboard the OpenXDR Stella Cyber platform. The challenges that many of our customers have faced traditionally is the amount of time that the SOC analysts would have to spend, first of all, in ingesting new data sources to the platform. Once the data is being ingested, they still have to spend a lot of hours trying to create manual rules that will trigger any kind of a meaningful detections. If you are one of the enterprise customer that still faces with these challenges, I'm here to tell you that solution for you. Stellar Cyber has an open XTR platform that has lots of automation built into the platform. So let's go ahead and talk about the very first automation that we do. What you see here is this is the main dashboard that the SOC analyst you know, looks at. We ingest data in two ways. We ingest data through syslog and we ingest data through API integration. We have hundreds of parses and API integration that we have built. If there are any new data sources that we don't already have any integration, Stellar Cyber will build it for you at no cost to ingest any data sources from the network, from the endpoint, from the cloud to the platform. So that is the very first automation that we do is the parsing of the data. Once it's parsed, we will then normalize the data. That's really important because in order to leverage our out-of-the-box machine learning detections, logs that are coming ingested from different data sources needs to be normalized into a standardized record. We not only normalize it to a standardized record, but we also provide the enrichment that enrichment, it is also an part of what we do as part of the automation. So let me show you, for example, in the exfiltration stage of our XDRQ chain, which will, I will explain, you know, one of the alert that we trigger, it's called the outbound to Tor node. So if you look at the outbound to Tor node, you will notice that going into the JSON record, the enrichment that we are doing. So this is these are automation that we also do after we have ingested the data, the data. So we will enrich it with geolocation for that external IP address that we have. And we will also enrich it with threat intelligence. So we subscribe to multiple threat intelligence you know, on our platform. For example, Department of Homeland Security, ET Pro, Anomaly. So in this particular alert, you will see that we have a reputation of a Tor node and the reputation source is from ET Pro. So that's one of the automation that we do. So we talked about the automation at a point of ingestion. We parse, we automatically parse the data. We automatically normalize the data and then we automatically enrich the data. Once all of these is in the platform, the next thing that we do is the automation of the detections. So your SOC analysts do not have to write manuals to trigger meaningful alerts. You can just go ahead and leverage the out of the box detection. When the detections have been triggered, we visually map to what Stellar Cyber has developed called the XDR kill chain. So looking at this visual, you have the first stage of the kill chain, which is the initial attempt. So this is going from left to right, least severe to the most severe. So if you drill into the initial attempt, you will see alerts such as exploited CNC connection, external brute force successful login. Somebody from the outside is trying to get into the network. We also have user behavior type detections. Now these are gonna be difficult or almost impossible for the traditional SIM for you to be able to write any kind of a user behavior detection, things like you know, user login, location, 
right? So we baseline every single, every single user. Where does this user typically log in from? And also what time? So these are part of the many machine learning automation detections that we do. Now, once these alerts have been triggered, we then take machine learning to the next level. That's still one of the issue that many traditional SIM faces is that SOC analyst looks at all these alerts that are being triggered and they see alerts coming from the firewall. They see alerts coming from their EDR solution but it still requires them to spend many hours to try to correlate you know, all these incoming alerts that is coming to them in real time. So we automate that process. So the many hours that the analyst would have to do is now being done by our second level of machine learning, which is we leverage the graph machine learning. So let me just go ahead and explain how we actually do this. So once the first level of machine learning has been detected, we map it into XDR kill chain. Our second level of machine learning, we use graph, specifically graph ML, to correlate related alerts into a single incident. So here you can see kind of like the visual of all of the different alerts, how they are related. If I look at the alert table, this shows me that I've got 13 different alerts, ranging from external brute force successful login. So this could be being sourced from, let's say, by reading the Windows event uh, log files. Private to private exploit. If you deploy one of our security sensor that does you know, IDS detection for the east-west traffic, you will see this particular, you will see this particular alert. So as you go down this list of alerts, you can see that these could originate from any number of data sources. So it could be coming from the network, from the firewall, from Windows, from the endpoint, from the EDR, from Office 365. So the whole idea of the incident correlation is that we not only provide a visual of how all of these alerts are related, but we also give you a timeline, a timeline of how this incident actually occurs. For example, this incident started off with a external brute force successful login, okay? So this is where, you know, we have detected many failed logins by a particular, you know, user on a subsequent successful login. This is why we trigger this external brute force successful login. I can on this, and this is gonna show me what that external source is. I can go ahead and click on this, the eye icon to get into the details, right? So for every alert that we trigger, it has the same look and feel. So we give you a, you know, when this particular alert was triggered, what stage is it mapped to, to the X, XDR kill chain? And we also map to the MITRE attack framework. You know, we also have a, a description of what this particular alert is, fidelity score, severity score. And for every alert that we trigger, we will also disclose what are the key fields that we use to trigger the alert. If you want to get into additional detail, you know, from the fields that we have parsed from the raw logs, here are all the additional fields that you could use any of these key value pairs, value pairs to then do additional threat hunting. So after you've done you know, uh, the investigation, you can easily just go into the action and say, okay, I wanna go ahead and block it on the firewall. Um, I can also disable the user account, uh, leveraging Active Directory or Azure AD. I can also leverage my EDR solution to also contain the host, okay? So we were just looking at the external brute force successful login. Um, so subsequently, when you go down this timeline, you can see how these, all of these alerts are somewhat related, okay? External brute force successful login, and a few seconds later, it triggers the login time anomaly. So we talked about how our machine learning baseline every user and every device. So we now know, you know, when does 
you know, Daniel typically logs into the network. You know, when it's out of that boundary, that's when this login time anomaly gets triggered. So when you go down this timeline, the end goal of the incident correlation is that we want to paint a story, a story for your analysts, and so that your analysts will have that additional context, you know, before they actually go ahead and, uh, you know, make a decision to what they are supposed to do, you know, with this incident. The next thing that I want to talk about is that, you know, the manual action that you take, you can also automate it, okay? So we talked about the automation of parsing of the data, we normalize the data, we enrich the data, and we automatically detect from our machine learning out of the box. The next uh, automation is incident correlation. So the last automation is the response. So the response, the response is done through a playbook. It is real simple. You define the behavior that you want to act upon. So you can easily craft a query or you can leverage the many templates that we already have. So for example, I'm gonna use the outbound tutorial node. So instead of having the outbound tutorial node being triggered and having somebody to manually you know, take action, I could just simply create this playbook and say, okay, this particular um, detections, I'm going to, this is going to run, this query is going to run every five you know, minutes. In that five minutes interval, I can set a condition. You know, if it's, if I do see a single hit, I can specify, you know, what action to take. I can either send an email or I can just simply, you know, block it on the firewall. So, you know, block it on the firewall. So that's as simple as you get in terms of setting up the response capability. Note that within this playbook, you can specify multiple conditions. And for each of the condition, you could have one or multiple action to act upon. Lastly, within the platform, we provide the threat hunting capability. So this is, think of this as what the SOC analysts typically will do, you know, on the traditional sim is to write queries, to run the queries, to do investigate threat hunting. So I can simply just go and say, in my past week, you know, show me all of my alerts that was triggered, that was associated with Russia, for example. And very quickly, you see that I've got 30 different alerts that was triggered in the past week, that was triggered in the past week. I can scroll and look at, you know, the alert table, or I can also do additional filtering. So for example, you can see some of these destination has a reputation of a CNC. So I could just simply just click on this more info. Now, what I'm showing you here is that I've got a, you know, destination IP address that has this CNC reputation. And you can see what was the internal IP address that was reaching out to this destination. If I click on the details, you know, we can see that we have the geolocation every enrichment. So this is an IP address that is based in Russia and the reputation was a CNC and we sourced this particular reputation from ET Pro. So I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this demonstration. Um, so just to recap, um, so just to recap, Stellar Cyber provides an open XDL platform. It's a single license platform, meaning it's a single platform that allows you to, to combine multiple tools. So if you have a UEBA tool, if you have a separate network detection response tool, if you have a traditional SIM and also an automation tool, you can now leverage Stellar Cyber to consolidate all of the tools that you have into a single platform. And if there are data sources that we don't already ingest, we will build it for you. I hope this has been beneficial for you. Until the next time, talk to you later.